Let's play a love game, play a love game if you want love, if you want fame, are you in the- Wow, that made my nipples hard. Hey guys, I'm welcome to Topic top Twos, that was yesterday. Welcome to What the Fuck Wednesday. Today we like to talk about what the fuck moments for my life. Now this is kind of a, this was a, whoa, ho, oh, mmm, kind of top. Like, girl, don't even let me get it stop. Girl, girl, mm-mm. Now today I went on Facebook, not today actually, this was a couple of days ago, I went on Facebook, and I found the post, a very dumb, I'm not even gonna, I'm not, girl, I'm gonna be straight black and white. Very dumb post. <laughs> it was this whole thing about a man and a woman holding hands, like, you know, these little stick figure shits, and it was just like, straight pride bitches, and it was just like, oh my god, like, we live in a society today where, like, everyone is, like, upside down and shit, and everyone has to be so politically correct. Like, people are violated, and people are ver verbally abused because they are straight. Like, share this post if you are also straight and unashamed. <laughs> so after, you know, laughing for five minutes because I'm just like, this can't be fucking real. And I, I looked at the person too, I'm like, are you, what, 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 what? And I'm just like, this makes, what? I, mm, mm, I was just kind of dumbfounded for like three years. I'm still, I'm still dumbfounded right now. Now the thing is, a lot of people believe that straight pride should be something that's celebrated. Straight pride should be something that exists. Now, the thing with straight pride is that it already exists. Like, go outside, watch a TV, go on the internet. Just like the heteronormative about a man and a woman being together and being what form society is something that exists and has existed and something that is praised and what is believed to be the right thing. I mean, there's a whole thing about, you know, gay marriage. Not, that's like, that's like a good example of everything. <laughs> Right now, I'm just like, straight people are given the rights to do anything they want, <laughs> but there's more of a hardship with gay people. Now, my thing today, my big what the fuck moment, is not the fact that there is people who believe that there's straight pride, but the fact that it's sad that we as gay, as transgender, as lesbian, as all the other five million categories of things in the LGBTQAITLP LPDZ girl <laughs> community is the fact that we have to still have pride that that's what saddens me and that's my biggest what the fuck like today, it is 2014 and there are people out there who are still dying people out there who are still murdered people are out there who are afraid to leave their house people who are out there who will get thrown out of their house from their families people who will get abused people who will get violated people who get raped people who will get killed, murdered, all these things, in prison, take their families away from them, have no human rights whatsoever, just because they love who they love, or they are who they are, and it's something they can't change. Now that's something that's sad, it's so sad, once you think about it every day, just how lucky you are that you're not one of those people, that you don't have to be murdered or abused, and that you feel comfortable with who you are, and it's so sad that there's people in countries and cities in different states and counties and people who are out there are struggling and people who don't understand that this is a video oh, music's off serious video just got serious <laughs> there's people out there who are struggling people who don't understand that there's people who don't see that this is the reason why we have to have pride this is the reason why we have to stay together this is the reason why we have to represent each other this is the reason why we have parade this, 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 this is the reason why we have statements and protests and these are the reasons why we fight for human rights is because there are people out there who don't have rights there are people out there who are struggling and it's up to us it's up to people like us to stand out to be proud to represent those who don't have a voice, represent those who don't speak, represent those who are struggling, represent those who are hurt because of who they are and don't feel the safety of existing in this world loving who they love. Like those are the people we have to fight for and that's the reason why we have pride. But it's 2014. That shouldn't be necessary. There shouldn't be a need for us to have pride. There shouldn't be a need for us to feel like we're different. There shouldn't be a need for us to fight, to struggle, to try to provide for each other. There's no, there shouldn't be a need for us to always, always represent the, those who died for us, those who are dying, those who are abused, and those who are bullied, and those who take their own lives because they don't feel the safety of existing in this world, who can't take it anymore. 
So when people post things about straight pride, they don't understand why we have pride. They don't understand why things are the way they are, and they don't understand us, and they don't understand the whole representation of what pride to us actually means. I mean, you can be straight and be proud of that. That's, that's fine. Be proud of being who you are, sure. But we're not going to address that as a giant social need, and we're not going to address that as something that should be represented or something that should be more publicized, because it already is. If you go on any advertisement, if you go on any media, you will find very, very, very limited representations on gay, transgender, lesbian, anyone who is not the normal heteronormative. Hell, you can barely find people who are racially ambiguous or people who are of different races on mainstream media these, di these days, unless they're on BET or something that represents a certain specific group because we still have to categorize and we still have to classify things and things still aren't there for anyone. And that's what's sad. The sad thing is we have to represent, we have to be different, and we have to, we're not equal. And that's what's sad. That's my biggest what the fuck is the fact that we still have to be. We still have to do all these things just because we don't get treated like everyone else. Wow, that was sad. Okay, well, I was not expecting that video today, but yeah. So leave a comment down below on whether you're actually proud of who you are or something that's not the first thing I just made myself sad. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, okay. That's that's cool. Um Yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yes, I just want to have a message for you, for those of you, no, oh, no, you just For those of you who are struggling, those of you who are going through hardships right now because of who you are and you love who you all are, just know that there are people out there you can talk to and people out there who are awesome and people out there who love you. Like, I love you. I love you guys so much. And... I want you guys to know that it gets better. Life always gets better. Always. Even if it's really hard right now. Sometimes you wake up years from now and you're just much happier. And you're in a much better place. And as long as you guys are around and as long as you guys exist, there's going to be people like me and people and other YouTube channels and stuff to represent you guys. Because if you don't have a voice, then we're going to fight for it. Alright, cool. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome.